Okay. <clears throat> hey guys, it's Phantom, and today, because I've been getting a lot of custom content related comments for The Sims 3, and a lot of my, a lot of like new subscribers are extremely confused. Um, Like, okay, so I have a lot of new subscribers that are extremely confused. Um, and sorry, I'm, re I'm replying to comments right now. Um, So, basically, remember how I said that I was going to film a video regarding, like, the different CC fold- like, the different CC folders? Okay, so we have the documents folder here. You guys can see the whole thing. Um, I'm sorry. It's a little- crazy looking. I am like, I am so sorry. I'm trying to make this work as best I can. Um, this is kind, this is kind of hard. So, trying to make this work the best I possibly can. This will probably be easier on a Windows, but I'm gonna leave it like this. So, we have, we have the Electronic Arts folder, then you go to The Sims 3, and then, you know how I said there's two separate folders that you need? So, this is the Downloads folder, and this is where all the pack files go. As you can see, here are all of the pack files. So, okay, I got a comment that said, hold on, let me read it off, um, that said, my CC doesn't show up in the launcher when I put it in the packages folder. So, you don't put that CC in the packages folder. The CC that goes through the launcher is a .pack file. See? Like, for example, we have a Bellatrix Lestrange dot Sims 3 pack. And then we have another dot Sims 3 pack. And then we have this, as I said, do not get rid of that. And then we have a Helena Bonham Carter. As you can see, it says dot Sims 3 pack, dot Sims 3 pack here. As I've said before. And this, okay, that's where your downloads, that's where your downloads are. And then you install that into the launcher. You install that through the launcher. Now with mods, this is different. Now with mods, as I said, you have to make this yourself. Um, mods, the mods folder does not come with the game at all. You have to get it yourself. You have to make it yourself. You have to download this yourself. Um, I put a link. I put a link to it in a separate video if you want to download the resource.cfg file. And then for mods, you have your overrides folder, which, as I said, you make this yourself. Um, and then you have your mods folder, which has. And you have your mods, which has your overrides folder, your overrides subfolder, your packages subfolder, and the resource.cfg package file. So packages, this is probably what happened. This is probably what um, my subscriber was having issues with. So... This is a dot package file. This is a dot package file, and this is a dot package file. See? 
skin is a dot package file, this mod is a dot package file, and the simplicity and hair is a dot package file. Dot package files are different from Sims 3 dot pack files. Let me let me show you what a dot pack file looks like. So let me go to Chrome. I'm doing this in full screen so that you can see. So I'm going to go to TSR, you know, for example, I'm going to go to TSR, Sims 3. Sorry, you can't see the full, sorry, you can't see the full screen. I'm trying to show, like, all my screen. So, like, I know a lot of people are confused and that's okay, but this video is supposed to help you um, if you're having problems. So, for example, let's download a house, right? Let's download a house. Okay, let's go to Lots. You go to the Lots button here. And then you go to Residential. You know, you have to wait for it to load. And then let's just look through and find a house that we like. Let's see. Um, no, I don't like that house. Um, why are all these cottages? Okay. I don't like any of these houses, really. Um, so... I'm just downloading a house for example because, I mean, you can build houses in The Sims 3, but it's difficult. Like, literally all these are cottages. So, I'm going to... You know what? I actually like this house, or this one, this Daisy Dove house. I don't, I don't know which one, but I think I'm gonna get this one. For example, I mean, I'm obviously gonna keep it. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna click download. So let's go. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm trying to like go through all the photos. And then you click download. If you guys are confused on what dot pack uh not dot package files, um dot sims3 pack files look like. Hold on, let me just wait for it to download. Uh Okay. So the person said that they downloaded it from Origin and they think something is wrong with it. Nothing is wrong with it. You just didn't you just didn't install your custom content right. So I hope this helps you and anybody else um, having this problem. For me it's actually kind of easy because I know I know the difference between dot sims 3 pack files and dot package files because I've been downloading custom content for so long. So we're gonna go to our downloads folder and we have the dot daisy dove pack and then where this goes as you can see then where this is supposed to go, this goes in the, oops, wrong thing. Um, this goes in the Sims 3 folder, and this goes in the downloads folder. So you put it right here, 
and then to install it, let me show you. And then to install, you open The Sims 3, or, or you could double click, but I just open The Sims 3 up and, you know, go to Launcher. So basically, the .pack files are either supposed to look like, or the .sims3 pack files either look like a plum bob, either look like a sims3 plum bob, or they used to look like a sims3 plum bob, or um, they look like a, or they look like a little piece of paper. So you just, you know, wait for this to load. And then you go to downloads. So there's, you know, there's the play button. There's the welcome button. There's the downloads. Downloads. See? The downloads button for all of your custom content that goes through the launcher. So, okay. Dot package files don't go through the launcher. Um... But Sims 3 dot Sims 3 pack files do. So I'm just gonna wait for this to you know stop spinning and load. Oh, I'm so sorry if I seem very aggravated right now. This is just something that any seasoned player should know. Um, so, see, if they have these little things there, it means that they're being, they're going to be replaced with proxies. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install this. Sims 3 launcher, okay, I know. But I'm going to install it anyway because it's fine. Um, so as you can see, I have, you know, I have a, I have a hair here. I have a house. I have Helena. I have Heli. And then I have some posters. And I have a Sirius and Bellatrix poster. Um, and then I have Bella here. Um, so, you know, you just wait for, you just wait for this to finish loading. And this is how, this is how you install your, this is how you get your CC in game when it comes to pack files. And then once that's over, I'm going to show you how it's supposed to look in-game. I just have to wait for this to finish. So I'm just going to talk because I haven't really been filming a lot. Lately, I take maybe a couple days off from work to do other stuff. Um, so I'm replying to comments right now. So he also, so this person also said, oh well, I don't know, I downloaded through Origin, so maybe something went wrong. And I said, nothing is wrong, you just didn't put the Sims 3, or dot Sims 3 pack, dot Sims 3 pack files. dot sims three pack files incorrectly in the downloads folder. So sims three 
dot sims 3 pack files go in the downloads folder and you know just regular cc that you would download from tumblr for the sims 3 goes in your mods folder or it goes it goes in your mods folder and then it goes in your packages folder um, along with your mods that's why that's probably why it's not working And yes, the downloads folder comes with The Sims 3. You have to, um, so. See, this is the window that pops up when you're, um, see this window? This is the window that pops up when you're dot pack, dot Sims 3 pack files are installing. So, as I said, this goes through the launcher. Um, you can convert it into dot package files, but I'm not that skilled to do that, so I can't. Um, do that, but there are ways to, there is an, there's a program where you can convert dot pack files or sims3 dot pack files into dot package files and then those would go in the mods folder but I don't know how to convert um I don't know how to convert dot sims3 pack files so you'd have to look that up for yourselves I can't help you I can't help you there so see this goes through the installer and then, it's, and then it says success and done and you click OK and then it should be in there when you click the install button. So when you click the installed content button, this is all of the content that you should see. So see I have all my I have, or I have it like split into categories, so I have all, I have, um, I have it on all, I have my sim, I have my, you know, I have my sim category, I have the house, ca you know, I have the house category, I have like the build and buy category um, and then I have and then I have um, like the flooring category or whatever and then click play then you click play to open it I'm just going to show you so that, Oop, oops, oh my gosh, I am so sorry, hang on, hang on, let me fix it, okay, I am so sorry, so let's turn off display capture, since I don't need it, and let's go to Sims 3, window capture, and let's do Sims 3 University Life. Okay, so let's wait for this to open. Sometimes it says application not responding, but it's totally fine. You just have to wait for it to open because it takes some time to open. Um so yeah, like if you're if you made a mistake. <laughs> Oh my god, no, 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 honey. No, you do not put skins into the pack. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, okay, I'm very, very, very confused. I'm extremely confused. Um, what? Um, I am extremely confused on what is going on. 
So they said something about putting skins into the packages folder. Oh my gosh. Or the downloads folder. Um yeah, so you put skins into the packages folder. But as I said, you need to make your um you need to make the no, 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 no. I need to read this to myself because I'm very, very, very confused. Um. I'm really confused. I'm very sorry. Um, I'm very sorry. I'm trying to help you. Like, I'm trying to help out the best I can, but I'm kind of confused here. So, skins do not go into your downloads folder. That That is not where skins go. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you. Hold on. Let me just see if this is showing up. Yeah, it's showing up. We're good. Skins do not go into your downloads folder. Skins or um, skins do not go into your downloads folder at all. Downloads is where you put your Sims 3 dot pack files. That is where the dot pack files go. But yeah, skins don't go, like, if you mean, like, the, if you mean, like, a default skin, that's not really where they go. Well, it, it depends. If you download it from, if you download it from, okay, if you download skins from the Sims resource, then yes, it says sims3.pack file and you would put that into your downloads folder. But if you downloaded it from elsewhere, like let's say Tumblr, like the majority of people do, then it would uh, show up as a little cube and then you would put that in your mods folder. So let me just show you. I have to wait for this to load. So that I'm not show you what it looks like. Um, or like what the screen is supposed to look like. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Yes, I do have the 64 bit update. It works fine. Yes, I do have the 64 bit. talking about. I'm very sorry. Um, as I said, I'm making this video right now. I'm making a video right now to hopefully help you out. Um, so I just have to you know, wait for this to load. Sorry that like some people have issues. So 
as I said, it popped up a blue screen that says mod scripts found. And as it says, as it says right here, it says packages slash mros underscore master controller dot package. And then you click the check mark. And then click. Click here. Oh, you can also disable these screens, by the way. Um, you just have to go into settings. It's really easy. I'll do that later. But I'm just, you know, showing you guys what everything is supposed to look like in your game. So I'm not actually playing right now. So I'm just waiting for my game to finish loading. Okay, as I said, I do not know what area you're talking about. <laughs> so, probably gonna ask what error are you talking about? Um, I <laughs> think what error? trying to be helpful, but I'm also filming a video at the same time, so, yeah, I'm very sorry if I seem agitated, um, this is probably, you know, a new Sims player, so they probably don't really know how The Sims 3 works, it's very complex, but yeah, let's go, hold on, let's go, The game is a little bit slow. It's probably gonna die on me. But that's fine. Okay. So. And then you go to create a household. So you go create a household, or create a sim, but in Sims 3 it's called create a household. And I mean, okay, it looks different when you first open the game versus having a save, but so, so. I do not have any saves in game, so let's... Let me show you, let me show you guys what, okay, hold on, hold on, I'm trying to, okay, so this, so these are like your pre-made sims or whatever, I'm sorry, I think my
got my charger, you know, just in case my computer decides to die on me. Okay, my computer is going to die. So, here are my sims. Let me figure out where Pelly is. So let's use Heli as an example. If you guys don't know, this is Helena. This is Sim Helena. Bonham Carter, by the way. Um. No. Oh my. Why? No. 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 I want Heli, not. No, I want I wanted Helena. No, I wanted Helena, not No, I wanted Helen, not this sin. What happened to Helena? <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna show you what Helly looks like. Hold on, let me find her again because I cannot find her. And I'm sorry my computer is being very slow on her butt right now. Oh my gosh. No. Y'all, sometimes The Sims 3 gets on my freaking nerves. Okay, can we? Yeah, let's. So let's figure out where Kelly is. Oh, sorry. Child, that's a teen. That's a young adult. I don't necessarily know. So that is Helena. So let's click accept. So, this is a custom sim. This is a custom made sim that I installed. This is Helena Bonham Carter. She is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, y'all. You guys have no idea how much I love Helena. Or how much I freaking love Helena Bonham Carter as an actress. And then we have Miss Bellatrix Lestrange. Hold on. Hold on, it's kind of stuck. Then we have Miss Bellatrix Lestrange. Or Lestrange. Um. Oh, and we have Miss Bellatrix Lestrange that I want to show y'all. So, to get to your custom, or to get to your pre-made sims, you scroll. You can you can click on these when they're when your computer is like fully charged, but mine isn't, so it's being a little slow and a bit of a butt. Um, so 
So this is the list of pre-made sims. So this is where all your pre-made sims would be. Oh, oh no, 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 we skipped Bella. We skipped Bella. We skipped over Bella. Okay, so, so this is Bellatrix. This is Bellatrix Lestrange. So we click accept. I want to see how Bella looks <laughs> in game. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is Bella. I'm going to click accept. So I can show y'all side by side what they look like. This is Helena. This is Helly, the actress who played Bellatrix in the Harry Potter series. And this is Bellatrix. Um, it's probably my favorite Bella. Looks exact, looks kind of exactly like her, except her hair is a little, she kind of has like super curly raven hair. Um, it's like, like nice thing. And the thing is her hair is like super duper messy. So let me show you because I want to see, I want to see what her Clothing. I want to see what her clothing looks like. That's her everyday wear? Okay. This looks good, but... This looks really, really good, but... Okay, this looks really good. So that's her every day. Does she have more than one? So that's her every day. It kind of makes me think of a teacher. I don't know why. Um, I really do not know why. No, no, no. No, no I like her how she is. I mean, red is not her color, but, okay. The dresses should have been her everyday wear because she wears dresses. She wears a dress with a corset all the time, if you watch the films. So, you know, if you watch the films, you know that she wears a dress with a corset. It's black. She wears an all black dress. Um, it's it's good for effort though. You tried. <laughs> you tried, but it's not exactly like her. And I'm sorry about that. But I want to see what the rest of Bella's dresses look like. So. This is actually close to her. So, basically, to see your CC, or to see that CC that looks like a shopping bag, you go here. Okay, so I want to see all of Bella's outfits. So, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at this. The, oh my god, this is the prettiest dress I've ever seen. And then we have the red dress. And then we have this one. And we have, you know, we have her regular outfit. But I want to see her hairstyles. I want to see what her hair looks like. That's what I'm mainly focused on. So she just so they just made her with like straight hair because I don't know what like what what her crazy hair would look like because I do have to admit that it is kind of hard to make her, like, her super crazy hair. Um, 
in The Sims 3. Or just in general, to be honest with you. So let me switch her formal back to what she had on before, which is a red dress. So yeah, she had this on, this beautiful dress, um, normally she wears a dress with a corset, um, this is, this is a cor I mean, this is kind of what she would probably wear to a ball maybe I don't know and then let's go through her well let's go through all her clothes for one because I just I just want to see this is the first time I just this is the first time I've seen this so let's see her sleepwear this is her sleepwear so it's really pretty um this is her athletic wear. I don't really see her as an athletic woman. <laughs> but I mean, I guess with all that killing she does, that's athletic. And then that's her swimwear. So let's go back to her everyday. This looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, they did such a good job. But I mean, this was made like years ago. As it kept. Does she have more than one outfit? I'm, I'm pretty sure she has more than one. Okay, I'm pretty dang sure she has more than one outfit because okay so this is Helena's out this is Helena that's Helena's outfit and that's Bellatrix's outfit <laughs> so let's let's go through Helena let's go through her clothing and see what that looks like I want to see so this is her Does she have formal wear? So, so. Okay, so that's her formal wear. Ooh, that is the most Bellatrix outfit I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she actually kind of looks like Bellatrix, though, like, with this outfit. And then her sleepwear. That is such a Bellatrix outfit. Oh my god. So, sleepwear, her athletic wear. Ooh, that's pretty. And then her swimmer looks like this. So, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use any of these sims, actually. I'm going to delete them. Yes, I'm going to delete her, and I'm going to delete, oh, you can't delete Bella. Okay. So, um... Okay, I can't delete Bella for some reason. But yeah, so to be able to find the sims, you just go into pre-made sims, scroll down for a bit. Until you find what you're looking for. Okay. 
and then and then they would be right there with the little mark right there so yeah and then I'm gonna show you okay I want to go through her traits but that's not really important okay so this is the custom content that I have I'm not gonna alter her in any way But yeah, let's find Bellatrix again. See if we could find her. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I find her? Did I find Okay, so she's right here. So Bellatrix is right here. Um, she looks super pretty, by the way. Good job. Oh, so that's Bellatrix. So yeah, this is what, you know, it's supposed to look like in game. So yeah, this is what it's supposed to look like in-game. So I'm going to cancel. So yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like in-game. And then for houses, let's... And for houses... You go here. You go to hold on. Where you go? Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. I haven't I haven't played in quite a while, as you can see. But Yeah, you, sh you go to show empty homes, and you click place copy. Wow, I actually have enough for this. Okay. I'm going to put it over here. And... You know, this is just so that I have a... spot for my sims to live because I don't want to build them a house. Um, you could also bulldoze lots as well to make room for other lots. Yeah, let's, let's return to game setup. And then this is what your this is what your sim should, you know, this is what your menu screen should look like. So you go to create a household, choose household, or move in household. So in another video, I'm gonna actually make some you know make my sims or whatever you know because I have a lot of sims to make so yeah with that said I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like comment and please subscribe and I hope this video was helpful for you um so yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you. Hang on, I'm gonna go to options to just to turn off the loading screens because so 
So to turn off the loading screens, you go Hold on, how do you turn off the lo- I have no idea how to freaking turn off the loading screens. Um... Loading screen. I'm very confused. So, oh my gosh, how do you turn the loading screen? How do you turn the loading screen off? Or not, not the loading screen, but like the. Oh, and then you, and then to turn off the loading screens, you click and then to turn off the loading screens, you click or you uncheck and enable enable interactive loading screens and then you click apply changes. I usually just keep everything the same and then you click quit. Or go, you know, go to main menu, save, or I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna actually quit. So yeah, I hope this helped you. And with that said, that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, but yeah, as I said, I do not know what area you're talking about. Um, you're probably, like, not a Sims 3 veteran. I don't know. The Sims 3 is a lot more difficult to play than The Sims 4. I get it if you're new at this. I totally understand. I was there. I was in a position once, but I'm a very techie person, so it kind of... Or I've been playing The Sims for a long time now. I've actually had the Sims 3 since 2017. I've been playing the Sims 3 for four years. Um, and then I've been playing the Sims 4. I've been playing the Sims 4 for five years. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been playing the Sims for like five years, so it's probably a little bit easier for me because I've been playing the game for so long, and I get used, to, and I get used to everything, so I'm gonna click quit, yes, because I saved everything, so yeah, I hope this helped you, and if you enjoyed, Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And with that said, oh no, that's not good. Um, and you know, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and please subscribe to our channel for more videos. And I will see you later. Bye, guys. And also, sorry this video was so long. I wasn't expecting it to be this long, but I wanted to show you in-game what it looks like. So that's why it is so long and lengthy.